hear it? Your heartbeat is audible. Taking a few steps simultaneously seems impossible with your long and delicate legs. Your face appears bloated, and when you rub your bulging eyes with your hands, your vision remains obscured. Does this make you think something terrible has occurred? No. This is merely an approximation of how individuals born in new gravity space stations might appear in the future. Those who come into existence on other planets will exhibit even more pronounced differences from others. Let's imagine a scenario where humanity has successfully colonized the entire solar system. In such a case, how would you appear if you were not born on Earth? Within the darkness and tranquility of your apartment, you're peacefully asleep, unaware of any impending troubles. Suddenly, in the midst of your slumber, you sense a weighty pressure on your chest, accompanied by a sticky substance dripping onto your face. As you open your eyes, you are greeted by a blinding, intense light and an imposing set of eyes staring back at you. Fear not, it is simply a cat. It seems your cat is eager to receive its portion of food from the kitchen as quickly as possible. The alarm clock failed to rouse you, and even the sun's rays couldn't awaken you. Being born on Jupiter, with its dense layers of hydrogen and helium, means the planet is enveloped in a thick, chaotic haze. The feeble light that manages to filter through only creates a faint and subdued glow. However, your cat possesses its own illuminating device on its head, resembling a lamp. Your cat is eager to receive its portion of food from the kitchen as quickly as possible. Jupiter's atmosphere resembles an ocean of hydrogen, leading to the existence of creatures here that closely resemble various underwater organisms. On this planet, the ability to see in the dark is of no use. However, your beloved cat has developed a filament on its head, similar to those found in deep sea or abyssal fish, which emits light in the darkness like a tiny light bulb. This is especially useful on a massive planet like Jupiter. The cat's googly eyes aid in providing at least a slightly clearer vision, even when the kitchen is in the adjacent room. The journey there will take a while, as Jupiter's gravitational pull is 2.5 times stronger than that of Earth. Movement on Jupiter is significantly slower for individuals residing there. Even the most athletic individuals find running and jumping beyond their capabilities. By the halfway point, exhaustion sets in. You realize you are running late for work and turn back towards the bathroom. However, even the simple act of tightening yourself up proves challenging. You stumble frequently, struggling to maintain your balance. It's akin to living in an apartment within a building perched on a floating platform. This platform remains afloat due to the continuous gravitational pull and utilizes Jupiter's atmosphere as a means of propulsion. This setup is the most optimal infrastructure for a colonized planet devoid of solid surfaces. However, residents of these apartments sometimes experience a sensation similar to seasickness. As you watch yourself in the mirror while brushing your teeth, you observe a striking resemblance to a handsome human isopody. The inhabitants of Jupiter share numerous characteristics with underwater creatures. Evolution has ensured that humans feel at ease within this unique environment. You have borrowed the hardened chitting shell from the crustacean isopod, which provides protection against Jupiter's radiation. The membranes between your fingers, reminiscent of those found in frogs, assist you in maneuvering through the dense layers of hydrogen, thanks to the high pressure and density of the atmosphere. Moreover, your body possesses a broader and more robust physique compared to those born on Earth. Due to Jupiter's immense mass, Individuals on the planet will indeed weigh significantly more, and it's not due to their muscular biceps. Jupiter's mass is 316 times greater than that of Earth, resulting in a much stronger gravitational pull. For example, if your weight on Earth is 68 kilograms, on Jupiter, with the same body structure, you would weigh approximately 159 kilograms. Additionally, the extended duration of methane in Jupiter's atmosphere leads to an interesting phenomenon where your skin would appear blue. This is because the gas absorbs most of the red and yellow light wavelengths, altering the spectrum reaching your eyes. As you watch a video of your boss, who is located at the head office on Venus, 
you notice that the only organisms capable of surviving on that planet are microbes. Venus's atmosphere contains toxic phosphine, making it inhospitable for most life forms. This explains why your boss resembles an amoeba with multiple appendages instead of legs. It's best not to provoke her, as living on Venus subjects you to never-ending headaches. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is comparable to being nearly two kilometers deep in an earthly ocean. Despite her furious shouts, her speech sounds somewhat distorted. Venus' atmosphere facilitates the faster transmission of sound compared to Earth. As a result, voices resonate at higher frequencies. Despite finding your boss's resentment somewhat comical, you understand that it's a serious matter and your job is at risk unless you show up at your workplace. The situation seems disastrous since you were planning to purchase a ticket to the entertainment complex situated in the upper layers of Jupiter's atmosphere. For days, all you can see is the dreary mist surrounding you. However, from the complex's viewing platform, you have a breathtaking view of the 95 satellites that orbit in a beautiful band across the planet. And the most captivating sight of all, the majestic rings of Jupiter. Oh no, did you forget to feed your cat? You hastily jump into your hover car and rush towards work. Unfortunately, local weather conditions often pose challenges for commuting. Powerful winds, thunderstorms, and lightning flashes hinder your progress. In your hurry, you might not even be paying attention to the road. Suddenly, you take a wrong turn and find yourself in the famous Great Red Spot. It's a colossal storm on Jupiter, spanning a diameter of 16 and a half thousand kilometers, and it has been raging for over 300 years. Your car is in disrepair, with a cracked windshield that shatters, causing you to fall out. Due to the extreme pressure of Jupiter's gases, you are instantly crushed. It's safe to say luck wasn't on your side. Meanwhile, on a different planet, you awaken from yet another nap during the day, which marks the 30th time today. This peculiar planet is Mercury, where a single day's duration equals 59 Earth days, and it happens to be your birthplace. On Mercury, a full year comprises 88 Earth days due to its proximity to the Sun. However, despite being the closest planet to the Sun, the temperature inside your bedroom, located outside the colony, is unbearably hot. During the day, the planet's temperature can soar up to a scorching 430 degrees Celsius. Renting a home on Mercury was far from affordable. Considering the exorbitant cost of constructing the colony, which demanded incredibly expensive materials. To maintain room temperatures similar to those on Earth, scientists created innovative thermal insulating materials. Even the aerogel, porous substance with extremely low thermal conductivity, commonly used in the space industry on Earth, couldn't withstand the intense heat on Mercury and melted. However, the colony incorporated state-of-the-art cooling systems to safeguard the electronics from overheating. Additionally, the walls of the colony grew remarkably thick due to the constant showers of mercury, akin to weathering in London. On mercury, the presence of meteor showers makes it impossible to enjoy a nostalgic stroll in the rain with an umbrella. As you listen to Radiohead's songs through your earbuds, you make your way to the bathroom to freshen up. However, you encounter a recurring issue. The tap runs dry. Water on Mercury is obtained by extracting it from ice reserves located at the planet's poles. These icy deposits are confined to specific craters on Mercury, where they persist in permanent shadow or briefly emerge as water in this unique environment. It is a highly costly and scarce asset. However, the inhabitants of Mercury possess a hybrid-like appearance, similar to Edward Cullen. This is due to their need for extra protection against intense ultraviolet radiation and high temperatures, resulting in thicker skin compared to others. Moreover, the metallic elements present on Mercury aid in reflecting solar radiation. As there is no atmosphere on the planet, you do not require a respiratory system. Therefore, your eyes resembling white sunglasses do not produce tears due to the absence of liquid. This is crucial since the sun's brightness on Mercury is six times stronger than on Earth, and direct exposure would result in blindness. By the way, 
Your phone is ringing, but there's no need to be alarmed. It's just the pizza delivery person. However, their accent reveals they are not from the local area. They came here from Titan to take up a side job. Their voice carries the distinct characteristic of old titanium, as the cold air on their home moon affects the vibration of their vocal cords, deepening their voice and altering its timbre. Most animals on Mercury have white, fluffy fur that reflects light while protecting their skin from solar radiation. Additionally, both the creatures on Mercury and turtles possess remarkably long tongues, similar to chameleons. They require these long tongues to drink water from underground springs or deep crevices and craters. Furthermore, local turtles, like the inhabitants, are capable of jumping three times higher than on Earth. This is due to the fact that Mercury is approximately three and a half times smaller than Earth, yet its gravity is similar to that of Mars. However, you momentarily forget about your turtle and realize you're hungry, just as you spot the object, not the person. The pizza delivery person swiftly collides with your mailbox. In a fit of anger, you raise it above your head and throw it so far that it disappears from your sight, thanks to the influence of gravity. As you search on Google for heavy objects on Mercury, you start sprinting towards the unfortunate pizza delivery person, when suddenly, your neighbors appear to be calling the police. Even though Mercury is supposed to be a rational being, controlling their emotion and avoiding the use of force to resolve issues, you attempt to escape using any means necessary. However, living life as a fugitive is not sustainable. The reality is, you won't be able to make it beyond the colony. Life on this planet is complicated in its own way. Is there truly no place for you in this vast universe? Despite it being nighttime, a few beautifully modest lights shine from your apartment window. You love sitting like this for hours, gazing at the sky. Apart from those humble lights, there is another captivating sight, the Pluto satellite, Chiron, which appears remarkably close to the planet. In comparison, when a person on Earth looks at the full moon, they can cover it with their thumb extended at arm's length. However, the colors of Sharon on Pluto require you to move your fist to block its view. Unfortunately, that's the only aspect you appreciate about this dwarf planet. Apartments on Pluto are the most affordable, but life here is unbearable, and there is practically no demand for real estate. The reason for this can be attributed to Pluto's position as the most distant object from the sun. The temperatures on Pluto are extremely frigid plunging as low as 240 degrees Celsius, which results in the planet's icy surface. Additionally, the radiation levels on Pluto are high. As a result, the Pluto government and the elite have constructed mansions beneath the ice for their dwellings. Indeed, beneath the surface of Pluto, there exists an ocean of liquid water, creating a perfect habitat for living. The elite apartments resemble fortified bunkers for aristocrats, but here on Pluto, they are equipped with powerful heaters and oxygen supplies. There are regular houses, restaurants, gyms, and even casinos. However, all the surrounding walls are insulated to maintain warmth. Due to the lack of natural light sources, the residents here have a physical appearance resembling naked mole rats. Although the well-dressed local tycoons enjoy a comfortable lifestyle, which is not the case for you. Your ancestors settled on Pluto a couple of centuries ago, and the ordinary workers were provided with houses and settlements on the planet's surface. These are simple huts carved into rocks, resembling caves. As time passed, human physiology gradually adapted to the planet's harsh cold and other conditions, resulting in changes in their physical appearance. Now, you possess an appearance that you hesitate to face in the mirror. On other planets, people have grown more robust and athletic. In contrast, you appear frail. Pluto's gravity is significantly lower than that of Earth, meaning that someone weighing 40 kilograms on Earth would weigh only 3 kilograms on Pluto. Moreover, the low gravity leads to muscle and bone deterioration, causing an increase in the spaces between vertebrae. While this may make you taller, it also impacts your posture since your backbone loses much of its functionality. In short, your physical appearance on Pluto resembles that of a spider-like creature, which may contribute to the perception that only losers reside there. However, this sentiment doesn't apply to Mars. As your alarm clock goes off, 
you swiftly spring out of bed and prepare in just one minute. Today is an important and responsible day as you are heading to war. The inhabitants of Mars have long been planning an attack on Saturn. The motivation behind this attack is the abundance of various resources found on Saturn's satellites. For instance, on Titan, there are lakes and landscapes composed of liquid methane, while other moons possess valuable minerals like iron, magnesium, alumina, and silicon. However, the people of Saturn not only refrain from utilizing these resources themselves, but they also refuse to share them. Eliminating these individuals won't be a daunting task, given that Saturn, similar to its gaseous neighbor Jupiter, lacks a solid surface and consists of a massive cloud of hydrogen and helium with powerful winds. Consequently, the inhabitants of Saturn have a jellyfish-like appearance since living in a dense atmosphere necessitates a body resembling a gelatinous bell that contracts and expands. Martians mock them, referring to them as spineless due to their lack of a skeletal structure, which they never developed due to the high-pressure conditions on Saturn. In contrast, as a Martian, you are tall and sturdy, capable of withstanding Mars's weaker gravity, which is lower than that of Earth's surface. In order to protect your skin from radiation, your body produces carotenoids instead of melanin, which is common on Earth. Carotenoids are pigments that give carrots, tomatoes, and oranges their vibrant colors. As a result, you appear as if you are glowing with bright flames, reminiscent of the superhero Firestorm from DC Comics. This may seem remarkable, considering that Mars is a dusty, rocky desert. Instead of marveling at the planet's landscape, you focus on perfecting your physical fitness. However, you're not just an ordinary soldier. You are also a military dog handler. The dogs on Mars are as muscular and strong as their owners. They possess a dark orange coloration and have small antennas on their heads, which are necessary for capturing at least some sunlight. This is important because, like all living organisms, they require vitamin D to facilitate bone growth and strength. Vitamin D aids in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. In recent years, you have dedicated your time to training numerous dogs for combat utilizing their unique abilities and dismantling the bodies of enemy combatants. In addition to everything else, your arm is equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry. Mars is rich in metal deposits and other resources, which has led to a thriving arms industry on the planet. So here you are, heavily armed and approaching in your spaceship, when suddenly your radars detect hundreds of unfamiliar flying objects heading your way. A few moments later, you witness an atomic explosion through your porthole, and it directly impacts you. Earth, with its nuclear weapons and space drones, has successfully destroyed the most powerful army in the solar system. However, you shouldn't be surprised, as humans have always been driven by their desire to exploit resources. Now they have set their sights on Saturn, not content with having colonized a significant portion of the planet. It seems these parasites are relentless in their pursuit of utilizing the resources of the solar system. Given this situation, what kind of life would you prefer to live? Would you consider fleeing Pluto in search of a more promising job? Or would you attempt to reclaim Saturn, perhaps even with the help of comets or other means? The choice is yours to make.